Hello dear student, uh, we have started uh, web.config practicals, among that one practical uh, it is about custom errors. So one property we have studied that we can assign the custom errors uh, rather than the errors displayed by your IIS server. Now which are the different uh, types of errors that for example you have seen the HTTP status code errors uh, that is uh, 301, then 401, 444. Uh, 404. Among that, we one uh, we learn one error that is about the 404. If that particular web page it is not available on your website on your web application, then IS will throw its uh, own uh, 404 error, error which is stored in their pages. Uh, so what we can do rather than uh, retrieving these pages uh, default pages, so one custom page we can design, and this custom page uh, will be uh, invoked when such kind of error occur. For that you have to do some change in the web.config file. Now uh, this 404 error just I told you that if that page web page it is not available on the website it is not a part of website and you are entering a wrong one then uh, this kind of error happens. Even suppose uh, this page has been removed more uh, or it is deleted and it is uh, uh, not there in this website folder then again uh, this error will occur. So what we can do here, just go to web.config file and this web.config file here uh, we have to use custom errors. Uh, in this custom errors write down the mode. There are three modes in this custom errors. One is on, another one off and uh, another one third one remote only. I will show you remote mode is equal to off, on and the remote only. So on means uh, it will be available for the local customers, local client as well as for the remote client. Off, if we set it off then uh, custom errors will not be available to anyone. And remote only means this custom errors uh, it will be available, uh, it will be invoked to whom? To the remote client. Uh, to the uh, the client which are accessing from the another machine another system and those who are accessing with, uh, on the same server they will get the system error IS errors so in that way you can set it so uh, remote only when we are going to use from the another machine we are accessing then we will get this custom errors for the users only and for the developers they should understand the detailed type of error uh, what exactly happens then uh, they should have this uh, system error pages so that's why you can use a remote only right now uh, I'm setting here as an on just I want to access this custom error and uh, see here error in attack uh, status code is equal to 404 and for the 404 uh, it will be redirected once this error occurs then it will be redirected to where page not found error dot aspx which has been created by me you can see here page not found dot aspx so this is a page simple let's go to its source part here just I added this one line of statement over here h1 you know it is for the heading style is equal to color red normally you know that this error pages are in a red color so to get that feel that no, I have written here color is equal to red colon red and then the text that you want to display server error 404 page not found or whatever you want to write it that uh, would be easily understand by the user so you can write it down over here and then it will be displayed now how to run it suppose uh, you are having this one web config application dot setting spx let's go and view in the browser so you will see the output of this web config application setting that already we have run application setting program in last video now it will give some output whatever we have done the coding along with with some set uh, we have set some keys as in college name and some name so it will run now we can change uh, this parameter which is present in the url with the unknown name of the web form so what i am doing over here so let's see this carefully. I'm adding a web form dot uh, aspx which is not available. Okay, so enter 
and you can see the output server error 404 page not found now as we have changed it uh, in this custom error that's why it is showing if suppose we remove that custom error part and directly i try to access the form which is not available then it will give the system error i will show it right now uh, so see this web.config file i opened it and here a uh, custom error just i uh, commented this custom error part so this will not be get compiled and now let's run again any one of the ASPX page so let's run URL browser now here we have to do the change as uh, suppose web form dot ASPX now see this is your system server error pages which are stored at your server side so you are trying to accessing uh, this web form dot ASPX which is not available in your application web application so it will throw this error as an uh, http 404 so we understand that uh, or this developer designer know that what is this 404 so if you want to customize it that uh, user any user from the world can understand this kind of error then we can write down some custom pages we can design these custom pages for your web application and we have to add the code into this web.config file uh, when such error occur then just you have to write down the status code uh, in that and for that status code which page you have designed write down that part of that page so again i am repeating this one uh, i will show again by executing it so this is your custom error save this one if you want to add this one then what you will do just go here error you can see here error and then repeat this code status code among that uh, you should know the different status codes which are that and uh, for that which are the custom pages you can design so just google it for the different http status code errors you will find lot of the uh, status code errors and design some pages and that will be redirected when such kind of error occurs so let's run again this program after uncommenting it again run webconf.aspx It is redirected where it is redirected to your uh, that you have written error status code is 404 they redirect to your custom page so in that way it will be get redirected so this is about a uh, web.config file and we have taken uh, some programs about web.config file just as uh, login form authentication we have taken uh, just we will go through this web.config file that we have seen here authentication mode how to uh, use the form authentication concept of asp.net how to validate it with this form authentication class and the methods then we have seen the authorization how to set the roles and uh, this admins users with the different roles permissions then we have seen the custom errors uh, in one of the program we have uh, seen how to add some keys and the values and access these keys and the values uh, into uh, your ASPX pages. Retra this value into ASPX pages. We have seen the coding through uh, app setting. Uh, we can add some C sharp code. Another one that you can add embed into the source, just like this one. Okay, so in this way, configuration manager. Yeah, huh, through configuration manager class we can add and retrieve these values and uh, for that you have to use this namespace as a system dot configuration this is one way that we have seen then another way that uh, we have created our next uh, web dot config file so how many web dot config file we can create multiple by default one is present at a root level but at the child folders subfolders we can create another uh, web dot config file we are having right now three web.config file this one at the root level 
and this one at the child subfolder and another one for sample I showed you uh, subfolder one now here in this web.config file well, again we have used this app setting we have seen suppose uh, the value uh, keys are not present in this child web.config file then it will try to retrieve this value uh, try to access this value look for the value from where from root web.config file so in this way web.config file works it is for the configuration setting of your application you can set a different configurations one of the configuration is remaining that is a connection string that i will cover in the next videos when we are going to start with this database chapter so right now I will stop here, so go to its theory concept and perform all these practicals. Thank you.